then you need to learn about you you can't have a successful marriage with a woman by chance you must learn that's why in first Peter 3 they said husbands treat your wife according to knowledge you can't do it by chance you must learn you must learn you can't have a you, as a woman you can't successfully live with a man without learning about men no. and this is what many people do they just two people just marry they have not learned about the opposite i heard you talking about that today they have not learned about the opposite sex we are different. We're never made from the same material. In fact, we are two different beings. Two different. If it was animal kingdom, we're two different, like hyena and lion marrying. Two different species. We're never the same at all. We are not the same. We didn't come from the same materials. I know most of you are in the good word teaching church, so I know you already know this. We're never the same from the same material. Men were, were made from dust. Women were made from a bone. We're not the same. Do you understand? So it doesn't, I don't even know why we, we joined together because we're not the same. Two different animals. <laughs> We're not the same. Imagine an eagle marrying a chicken. They will need a lot of communication to survive. A lot of understanding, Abby. Say me, I want to fly. So when we fly to this point, you stop there because that's where your wing can reach. Then I'll fly, then I'll come back. But to say oh, we are one, we are equal, and that's what the world is trying to teach. That men and women are the same. We are one. We're, we are never one. We are never equal. We are different. We have different roles. Don't let this modern, modern talk that is destroying homes and families. Because when people are pushing an agenda, check their results. The Western world teaching you men and women are the same. Check the divorce rates. If it's working for them. The person you want to copy, check if it's working for them. They said, oh, we don't beat children. That's not scriptural law. Scripture says beat your child when it's necessary. I'm not talking about just beating for no reason. Good morning, just let slap land him slap. <laughs> That's not, I'm not talking about those kind of barbaric, but I'm saying if it gets to the stage where beating, um, spanking, you know, is needed, be free to release that grace. But you see the Western world say, oh no, don't beat your children. Have, have you seen how their kids behave? Check the facts. Don't just follow because they, they, are, they, are, they are saying something. Check. Their, is it working for them? That's what you need to find out. Somebody getting what I'm saying? Men and women are not the same. So, men came from, from dust. Women came from, from, from the bone. You say, oh, we are all equal. Uh, there, should, there should be no rules. Then why, are, why is the only women carrying children? You know, if it was up to these modern people now, you know, in every family, if you were born the first one, but you were born the second one, am I correct? Because they say, we are equal. We must do everything together. God specifically put the womb in the woman. And listen, God didn't only give the woman the physical cap capacity to carry children. He also gave her the emotional capacity. God is a master planner now. They didn't only shape this mic to be cordless. They also gave it the capacity to transmit. So if I just take a wire, you don't even have any corded mic in this church. If I take a, 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 a corded mic and remove the cord, it doesn't make it a wireless mic. It won't function because it won't have the emotional or the capacity to transmit. This one is not, it's not the lack of cord that makes it cordless. It also has capacity. So if God made the woman, gave the woman a womb, he also gave her, if, if, if you give me a womb now, by the time the first man gives birth and all the men see the stress he went through, men will just be stealing people's babies. Nobody's going to have a child. To child. The man will push. He will go through that pushing or go through CS, that sewing, and that three months of not eating this one. Not when his friends see it, say, My brother, I'm not even married, I'm not interested. <laughs> I will just adopt or steal a baby. But you say, woman, she will carry that pregnancy. She will be spitting. Her feet is swollen. Her nose is swollen. She's suffering. She can uh, help me. Uh, she will push. She will abuse the man. It's your fault. I won't do this again. <laughs> One year after, what's happening? She's back there because she has the emotional capacity to do so. She also has the mental capacity to do so. That's why you can easily leave a woman with three kids and nobody's stressed. Leave a man with three kids. If you find the three when you come back. He just doesn't have the same capacity. It's the kids that will take care of him. 
Guess what? Apart from the womb, God gave women the breast. That's, he has implicated you. That you are the one that will nurture the children. The breast is the first meal. You know, we are the one that turned breast to a sexual... The first work that they created breast for. It's for feeding, you know. I don't think Adam maximized the breast. We, we, we maximized it. All. I don't think so. It was purely for feeding. That's why the, the baby's the food is. What? And it's not detachable. You can't say, we are equal. I hold one, you hold one. Take one to work and carry the baby. This, so when you see it, you know that the master of the universe, it wasn't a mistake that a woman has a capacity to raise kids. And it's not an insult. It's not a, 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 a demeaning job. It's God saying, it is you I trust with the next generation. Oh, that's a good point.